They called my finest friend a faggot. Through detestable unfeeling nights, where a daunting tortured shadow slept beneath the loathing gray moonlight, impaled against the sky by revulsion, with no one adjacent to hear him cry. They drove by with jaws of disgust through highway years where they closed their eyes in silence toward road side hostility where ignorance was a course of action that arrived at the intersection injuring too many lives in tears. They crucified him in blood of cruelty by a nation brought to indignity. By monastic order of religious right, providing food that feeds hostility by making nuclear fuel that breeds lies, encouraging an enterprise of spite. They viciously live with compassion closed, leaving emotion like a rock fragment where sons are abandoned to stop existing, torn apart walking lonely halls, searching for one to elicit enthusiasm, instead hearing homophobic words exit their mouths. They called my finest friend a faggot, Yet it mutilated me identically to hear the word bag in big bold letters across his essence of spiritual depth where we both burst into tears the same attempting to save what little of our souls were left. They said my friend was fit to lick the toilets while making him state that faggot is his name and years later he is still mocked and scorned. When he found a cultured man like himself, who thought deeper and more open-minded thoughts than a place promising the pursuit of happiness. They called my finest friend a faggot when he pleaded for equal representation, connected with administrations and civic unions, where Cupid struck a same-sex attraction, where the intersections led to the ideal spouse, not feeding on the idea that a man can love only a woman. I thought I knew the identity of America, where religion is practiced by choice, without a cloth-flown government interfering. Yet bedroom politics is just opposed with marriage when taking rights away for same-sex romantic affairs and the government assistant benefits of a marriage.
parishioners say gay marriage is an abomination as they lay judgment as if they were God, saying homosexuals do not inherit the kingdom of God, hating my friend for blooming in marriage season, contemptuously stating God hates faggots. And it is one man, one woman. My friend should be content to take a vow, to be trustworthy and gay and full of pride, in a marital status of married and proud with wedding rings and cake and birdseed bags. But the aisle is just a highway with weeds, as indifferent human pesticides taint the smell. They called my finest friend a faggot as a community of destroyers still sink, where certain human beings are a fallen species, who embrace hearts black as granite chips, to see my friend as a shameful offense, swerving from God like a runaway truck lane. <laughs>